Hey guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting rain to episode 11 of the Idol Master Cinderella Girls under 149. So let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. No, 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 baby. Grown ups do cry. We have our moments. We cry when we're happy, sad, mad, whatever. Oh, no. Oh, mm. It makes sense. To kind of really do no opening for this because this is going to be a seriously episode, a serious episode for her. Or drunk baby. <laughs> You one forty nine. Under one forty nine. Yeah. Uh, oh, no. Oh. No, no, honestly, you guys will grow up. I, I think, honestly, you all are still like the same. So, the game. Made all the kids cry. Oh, my God. Mm hmm. Try and text your mom and dad. See, I feel like nobody, any other idols are going to make an appearance today because of how serious this is. I mean, 
we know the first episode, especially when it wasn't her POV, was very serious. This is just as. And I feel for her. She's still one of my favorites, and I love her so much, but I feel so bad for her. Oh. No. We need to just tell them that's at an emergency, baby. She's the perfect little adult, even though she's not an adult. That we want to be independent, but we need to rely on someone. Let me finish recording thunderstorm. Let me edit the videos, and then you can come and rain on my parade. Come on, baby. I feel like they're kind of playing her instrumental of her solo in the background. It kind of sounds like it, but maybe we're actually going to hear it. Or her, at least her second. Mm -mm. Have her phone on her. Here we go. The saddest song in Cinderella Girls.
That part reminds me of Alice in Wonderland. On you. Mm -hmm. Baby, they'll always love you. They're your parents. No, it's okay. You're upset. I still even act like a fucking kid and I'm fucking 29.
It's all because we're scared. Oh. I need a producer cry in any of these series. This is C1. Cry. Peaceful.
Mm-hmm. Rely on your parents. So, Here we go. I hate the fact that this is ending next week. I don't want it dead. That was a good episode. Ooh, like 10 out of 10. The feels this week. Oh my God. I mean, but it makes sense because it's Odyssey. And it, it was time to get into the nitty gritty of baby because yes, episode one is like part one of it. And this episode is part two. This song better be in the game tomorrow morning. It's nice. It's pretty. You already know it's now her turn to get, well, again, her paid two cards or gotcha and stuff. So yeah, it was good. Very sweet. And it's just the fact is that she wanted to rely on her parents more. And she wished that her parents were there. But it just so heartwarming and sad, but so beautiful. Because sometimes, yeah, in life, your parents can't always be there for something and you feel like you're alone all the time. But if you tell them, it changes everything. That hurt, though. Okay. But uh, the fact is that I was right that, like, in my opinion, no other idol outside of these nine should have really appeared in today's episode because of the fact is this episode was not as clearly as much as the previous one. So from episode two to episode ten, where, yes, we have an idol come in and, you know, make the episode a lot more fun um and such but this was a serious moment where it's like yes we really need to talk about you know what is the difference between adults and kids and the nitty gritty of it and the, the lore or what I like to say the story um the message of it and knowing that yes they're all the same but still the struggling moments of Arisu and why she is just probably one of the best characters in this group of girls and such. I mean, even when, like, you look at season two of Cinderella Girls, um, and you're looking at, I think, Yui, Kanade, Arisu, Fumi, and Freddy, um, to me, in that group of five, like, Arisu, she really stood out to me. Like, even as a Kaede P. Um, she stood out a lot. So 
when I heard her song the first time, I was like crying. <laughs> And you feel like, God, why is this so sad? And then you go look at the translation for it. You feel like, oh, oh, okay. And, and then you read up more on her story, which, I mean, I cannot imagine being a producer of hers and stuff and literally being like, oh, my God, like, she's so precious and so adorable and mature for her age. And then you read the backstory and you're like, oh, my God, this girl is so, like, sad and she tries to hide it so much and it feels like she's going to explode with all this emotion because she doesn't know how to handle it and you're like oh my god like please help her and when you finally get to learn that you're like can I give this child a hug and so when you finally get to see her parents hug her in this episode it just feels like completed Something that you've really wanted for her for the longest time is finally happening for her. And for her to finally acknowledge her parents and tell her how, and no, for her to tell them how she truly feels is good. I mean, even though, like, yes, I would have loved to see, and I think I even said this to, like, a friend, um, when he asked me why her song is so sad, um, I was like, if they ever do, like, something with her, I really would like to have her perform that song in front of her parents. But it wasn't in the cards. Really, more or less, let's just have her tell her parents how she truly feels and that she loves to be an idol and such and that she doesn't like the fact that she's alone all the time and, you know, her mom saying this to her and her dad, you know, being the dad sitting on the sidelines just, you know, still agreeing with what they're both saying but he probably had some things that he possibly wanted to say um i think just for time they wanted to scrap it so maybe in like a quote-unquote deleted scene it could be there um but still it was a very heartwarming moment for all three of them i think it really just officially woke um and connected them even more by the end of this episode. But now it makes me wonder, like, since next week is the finale, what the heck is about to happen? So now, I mean, you won 49. Are we finally debuting as a whole? Are we doing Doreen the Melody one more time? Or are we getting, like, a brand new song for this final episode that will eventually be in another event for these girls because right now we're in the event of um the live infinity which i me i, I mean I, no we'll see i i like the the live infinity event i'm like it's like a head of our misery for sometimes the one that i do not like the most it is the live um carnival i hate that event so freaking bad like and i hate when it comes in and i'm like i don't want to play so I end up not playing the event and I just, you know, log in, do my dailies and I get out. Or I'll play a couple of songs or I'll watch a music video and such. Um, the song is great. I played it last night. But um, really does make me wonder what they're going to do. And I mean, they already confirmed that in July, um, Yui, uh, Homegirl with the Glasses, and I think it's another Passion Girl. Um or a cute girl. They're in a unit together, so their song will be coming up soon. The Uzuki uh, Noir was gorgeous. Thank God it came home in pools and <laughs> in my ticket pools and not my gem pools because I would have been sad because I am trying to save my gems. I'm at 12K as officially as of now. Um, I am praying to the gods that, once again, Kaede's not going to get a card for until like sometime next year. But that Shin, Mizuki, Sane, and Miyu do not get cards from now up until the end of the year. Even though both Miyu, San, nope, Miyu, Mizuki, and Shin all do have reruns. I have every, I have every Mizuki card except for Perm. I have every Shin card except like I think the only card I am missing is like the onsen or like the the summer kimono card and then for me you i am missing uh the schoolgirl card and the halloween card that you got last year so who knows probably maybe by anniversary i may end up buying a card i'm still trying to figure out if i'm gonna buy one of the one of the five um well not kind of because i have all of the cards um 
one of my other four adult girls or buying a Mika card and such because I do also like Mika as well but who freaking knows let's hope that next week we get a good finale and possibly a confirming of after 20 anime adaptation because I would like to see it I think we all want to see it y'all showing the adult idols last freaking week in episode 20 kind of gives a thought that yes there is a possibility that those girls could get an anime adaptation so please for the love of god i beg you i know saudi how you mean is busy yes my favorite say you is booked and busy but i know she has time to do that you remember your roots you have time to do this is that and the third so please for the love of god let her come back and voice my best girl one more time and then go to another spinoff or and stuff because i know shiny nope theater days yeah the theater game yeah, yeah, yeah with og idol master girls that's airing next season is it i think it is and i didn't put it on my watch list Ooh. well i need to um and we know shiny colors is also getting an anime adaptation as well so pff, let's get the ball rolling i'm just saying but other than that guys that was my reaction view towards episode 11 of the idol master show and other girls under 149 if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next wednesday for the final episode but until then i will see you guys all next time bye